Good morning. I am pleased to share with you uh, financial results for both Q2 and H1 of FY20 for the Biocon Group. I am pleased to report that on a, at Q2 uh, basis, total revenues that we delivered were 1,611 crores, which is up 17% year on year. EBITDA rose 12% to 441 crores. Uh, and uh, net profit, uh, after excluding exceptional items, rose 12%. And uh, this has actually resulted in 189 crores at a net profit level. R&D expenses actually grew 36%. Uh, at a P&L level to 104 crores in Q2. And at a gross level, this number grew 39% to 123 crores. Now, translating all these numbers at an H1 level, I'm delighted to say that we crossed the 3,000 crore milestone this uh, half to 3,101 uh, crores, which is a 21% year-on-year increase. Net profit was registered at 422 crores. Um, and uh, the uh, EBITDA actually increased 29% to 903 crores. EBITDA margins at a h2 at an h1 level was at 29% which is up from previous years 27% though at a quarterly level the FD, ebitda margin were at 27% compared to 29% last year core ebitda margins which actually in, excludes r and d expenses forex gains uh, and uh, licensing income as well as Sinjin, actually uh, were maintained at the 33% level, both in terms of uh, the quarter as well as the half-year numbers. In fact, at a half-year number, the, EBITDA mar 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 the core EBITDA margins were at 34% compared to 30% last year. Um, so overall, we believe that uh, this has been a very strong performance. R&D expenses certainly have gone up, which actually reflects the, the continued progress that we are making in our pipeline development. At a half yearly number, in fact, our R&D investments at a P&L level grew 50% to 183 crores. And at a gross level, it also was at 233 crores from 208 crores uh, year on year. So we believe that these numbers actually are reflective of a very strong growth. I'm also pleased to inform you that at a half yearly level, we've crossed other milestones apart from the 3000 crore group level revenue milestone because biologics crossed the 1000 crore milestone as well as the small molecules division for the first time cross, crossed 1000 crores as well. So overall, I think we've had a very robust performance. Uh, other uh, announcements that I want to make are by nature of uh, management uh, updates. Uh, our CEO and managing joint managing director, Dr. Arun Chandavarkar, is now um, stepping down uh, as a part of uh, the corp company's retirement uh, norms. Uh, Arun has played a significant role in building Biocon to where it is today. He has shown immense leadership uh, and uh, thought leadership in, in the scientific uh, uh, development of Biocon. He has been an outstanding leader uh, and we wish him all the very best in his retirement. He steps down at the end of November and he will be succeeded by uh, Siddharth Mittal, who is currently our CFO at Biocon. And he will take over as uh, the CEO and Joint Managing Director of Biocon Limited. Siddharth, of course, has uh, been with the organization in a very strong leadership role for over five uh, uh, since 2013. Uh, Siddharth brings with him a lot of uh, credibility and capability. 
and i'm sure he will play a very very strong role in terms of leading uh, biocon to the next level in its growth journey uh, we wish him all the very best and i personally have a lot of confidence in siddharth's ability uh, to drive biocon in a very strong leadership position um other uh, updates that i would like to share with you this quarter is uh, some of the acquisitions that we have made uh, biocon biologics actually uh, acquired pfizer's r&d facility in chennai at taisal park and this actually enables uh, biocon biologics to accelerate its uh, development programs uh because it it gets access to very very uh high quality uh, laboratories that were anyway engaged in biosimilar development it helps us to hit the ground running we expect to staff this uh, new facility with over 250 scientists and obviously this also uh, almost shaves off a couple of years which it would have taken biocon to build these additional labs so we get ready made labs with which we will be able to accelerate some of these programs that's been a very important uh, strategic investment and acquisition uh the second is the uh, uh, asset that we acquired from just evotech biopharma uh, in the us uh, this was a a particular uh, and uh, you know bi uh, uh, biosimilar antibody that we will develop uh, it's it's a biosimilar ilia that again helps us to accelerate and fast track this program uh, again it shaves off something like 2 years of development timeline and uh, this is also a very critically strategic important uh, as, uh, asset acquisition which we believe positions again biocon biologics in a very strong way uh, in terms of uh, commercialization plans we are readying ourselves to enter the us market with through mylan for our uh, biosimilar trastuzumab which we have been eagerly awaiting for several years if you recall we were the first company to get approval for this biosimilar asset in 2017 december we are now entering the market in november this year and we expect to then focus on gaining market share with this very important biosimilar asset uh we also um have received uh, approval Uh, of an expanded drug product facility in india uh, these this inspection was done in september along with another inspection of a drug substance facility for pegfil grastim we expect both these to enable us to enter the us market and expand our footprint in the us market uh, with uh, a lot of good capacity uh, backing this these these uh, entries um all in all i think uh, we are very focused on building a very robust biologics business a very robust small molecules business research services has also performed very well it has delivered a, a, a 11% growth um this quarter uh, sinjin has already shared its um, updates with the market in terms of its business and business prospects um and going forward we believe that at a group level we have a very strong uh, growth momentum taking us into the next fiscal uh, we also have great opportunities which we are building on biosimil uh, biosimilars small molecule generics is another big opportunity for us it has already contributed significantly to the 1000 crore milestone that we delivered in small molecules so all Uh, uh you know across our organization we've seen good robust momentum growth momentum and we believe that we are now well positioned uh to really register strong growth biocon biologics has already announced that it is targeting a billion dollar milestone in revenues by fy22 so this is a very uh, you know focused and well deliberated strategic effort that is going to drive us in that direction so i think everything augurs well for this organization as we move into uh, the next calendar year and of course uh, the next fiscal so with that i will stop and then be open for question and answers